Hello everybody, so there have been some news uh, regarding GitHub Actions, so it continues to be unshittified. Uh, so GitHub Actions, uh, that's uh, like uh, the CI, CD um, system GitHub has, so if you have a repository there and if you want to build uh, your software, then you can use uh, GitHub Actions and uh, yeah, it will build it and deploy it to your environment. And it has been costing money. And to avoid the cost, you have been able to run your own uh, runner on your own server, and that has been free then. But uh, now there are pricing changes for GitHub Actions, and uh, now they're adding a charge. So even if you're self hosting your own runner, uh, you will have to pay uh, GitHub uh, for that privilege. So if we go down, they talk about like how there will be cost savings for people. Uh, like lower prices for GitHub hosted runners. But uh, here, so this is the fee that you're adding now, and it will be starting even for self hosted uh, runners. If we look at the documentation that they have, I uh, think maybe it was this link here Actions runner pricing. And here we can see self-hosted runners. So they will be charged uh, this amount, USD per minute, from March 1st. And uh, it's a bit interesting. Uh, if we go down here, standard GitHub hosted runners. So the weakest machine they have to offer, that will cost the same as uh, self-hosting. So it will not make any difference. Um, but if you're self-hosting, you could use better hardware and get better performance, like uh, here with the uh, um, uh, runners that GitHub uh, offers in the in the cloud. Uh, if you want better performance, they will obviously cost more, and uh, you only have to pay this amount. But still, if you just want to build anything uh, and you don't care about the performance, like uh, there is no way to get uh, cheaper than what uh, GitHub already offers. And people are a bit upset that uh, they're just changing this. And especially because GitHub Actions have been uh, getting uh, like a lot of critique uh, that uh, it works very poorly. So that's uh, what you can read uh, online. That people uh, are a bit upset. So I don't f really think this will help uh, with that sentiment. Uh, like uh, here. It was just a few days ago, uh, like you hear also a thread about people being upset about GitHub Actions, how poorly it's working. And I think like this is just uh, one uh, further step with the entitification that uh, GitHub is going through. Like from time to time, we see these sort of articles that uh, it's uh, there is downtime. This was 11 months ago, and uh, here's another from 10 months ago. Uh, like and GitHub is in down. I, I don't really keep track of it, but. Uh, it keeps happening from time to time. I don't use GitHub that much, so I don't uh, notice it that often myself. But sometimes you see this news uh, appearing uh, that, uh, oh, yeah, now it's down again. And also, uh, like this is also from this year, uh, four months ago. So why is GitHub UI getting slower? A blog post about that. Somebody who has been looking at the performance, but... Um, uh, like here, somebody's commenting, GitHub's performance has been rapidly degrading ever since they started to, uh, rewriting everything in React. It's basically impossible to view diffs now because they often fail to load, render correctly, or just are incredibly slow. And there are a lot of people uh, agreeing that uh, they had something small and fast, but now they have replaced it with this bigger uh, single page application, and uh, now they cannot render like uh, all... Uh, uh, comments immediately in a um, PR or uh, an issue and uh, also like uh, diffing texts uh, that it's oh, they, they cannot show like too big of a diff and I think it's a bit interesting that like in the year 2025 uh, like we have s had so long time of uh, computing advancement and uh, like in this current year like we are still struggling with just showing text on a screen uh, it's like too difficult to shoot two pieces of text at the same time. So maybe all these abstraction layers are not really working that well uh, uh, with uh, the web-based and JavaScript and the React and uh, everything. Uh, like 
uh, even though like the hardware keeps getting better and better but like uh, experience for users is like worse today than it was in the past so and uh, like uh, here is just an example it's just some uh, uh, issue i brought up uh, but like, like this is uh, how they render like if it's too much to show like you need to click to load more and uh, yeah like it uh, feels like uh, this with the pricing runner it's just uh, even more and shitification so microsoft is owning uh, github since some time ago and uh, here was one day ago vs code deactivates intellicode in favor of the paid copilot so in telecode it was an extension for uh, visual studio code uh, where you were uh, able to run a local uh, um, uh, LLM, uh, but uh, now they are disabling that. So you can choose between, um, I'm not sure what this says, but uh, IntelliSense uh, you can still use, but that's not using uh, like any here, uh, any AI uh, support. Uh, so that's available and you can use VS Code, uh, Copilot you can use if you want to pay for it. Like they only offer a free volume of 2000 suggestions, so you quite quickly run out of that. Uh, so then you have to pay, and this option with IntelliCode will not be available anymore uh, since that's been shut down. And so, yeah, people are also a bit upset here that uh, it's Microsoft going all in on uh, Copilot and AI, and the products are getting uh, shitified. Uh, so maybe it's time uh, to look at some alternative and there is this uh, alternative to github for geo um, so that's an open source uh, like a github alternative that you can host yourself and uh, there is one big uh, like instance of that it's called uh, codeberg so it uh, like looks and behaves like a GitHub. Uh, so here you can host your open source projects on um, Codeberg. Uh, they are not that uh, like allowing private repositories. Like you can have them, but it's a little bit about against their policy if you make something big with that. So that's something like you sh maybe should avoid. But if you want, then you're able to uh, self-host this. And I've read comments that um, there are a lot of people who are very happy with uh, this uh, solution. And uh, like, yeah, then you can avoid all this certification that happens with the GitHub Actions. Uh, like the only like good thing, like if you're picking between Codeberg and GitHub now, uh, also like Codeberg, they prefer public uh, repositories. And still, uh, if you're gonna use GitHub, uh, like GitHub Actions, uh, they're still gonna be free for public uh, repositories but not for private ones then you will have to pay uh, i think it should say that somewhere yeah so this will not impact actions usage in public repositories uh, uh, so yeah for now uh, like it's possible to <laughs> in that way avoid uh, paying uh, github money but uh, who knows maybe it will change uh, sometime in the future you never know and uh, maybe that's uh, a reason to like start to look into self-hosted and uh, alternative solutions uh, where you're not locked into one vendor and one platform. So what do you think about this change with GitHub? Are you still using GitHub or are you considering moving? And uh, what do you think? Please uh, let me know in the comments and see you another time. Bye bye.